What's up everyone? Today I wanted to make a video on a new gun that I recently picked up, the Shadow 2 by CZ, and do a little unboxing and my initial thoughts on the gun and show you what, what comes with it. Now it does come in a hard lockable case uh, with the CZ logos and the gold tabs. And opening her up, you'll see the gun it does come with the owner's manual and warranty information. Uh, it is a limited five-year warranty. It does also come with a standard magazine lock as well as spare parts and tools. And a bore brush. Now it does come with three magazines uh, one is in the gun, we'll ensure the gun is clear and safe, and clear. Now the magazines themselves are very similar to the Metgar aftermarket magazines. Uh, in fact, I do believe that Metgar supplies the magazines to CZ. Uh, overall, very good magazines. I've been using them for just over a year in competitions and have had no issues whatsoever. I actually prefer them to the old um, CZ magazines. They work very well. And this is chambered in nine mil. Uh, it does also have the 40 cal symbol on the other side, as you can see. Now I picked this gun up at a local gun store, uh, MSRP, they run for just about $1,300. Uh, retail, you can find them for just over $1,100 and a little bit cheaper if you purchase one used. Uh, this is the black with the blue aluminum grips. Uh, it does come in two other color configurations. One is all black and another is black with a uh, gray dust cover. The gun itself is a very large and heavy gun. We'll go through the specs here. Uh, the overall weight, it comes in at 46.5 ounces. So it's a very, very heavy gun. Uh, the length is 8.53 inches. So again, a, a very long gun, not uh, something that you would typically use for concealed carry. Um, this is really geared towards the competition shooter uh, in, in production division. Now, the barrel is, according to CZ's website, is a cold hammer forged barrel, which is 4.89 inches long, which is longer than the SPO one Now a little insight as to why I chose this particular firearm. Uh, prior to this, I was using a CZ SPO one model firearm for USPSA production division shooting. Uh, this firearm, the Shadow 2, was not available in my home state of California as it is not on the uh, roster of approved handguns. Um, that didn't mean that people didn't still get them. However, they were very expensive and really rare. Now, it does have some similarities to the SPO one, but unlike the Shadow, uh, the original Shadow, the Shadow one, uh, it is designed from the ground up. Now, some of the features you'll find is that it has a really deep undercut on the beaver tail and the trigger guard, which really allows you to get a very high purchase on the gun and uh, gets you closer to that bore axis. Now there is also a extended magazine release, which is adjustable to three different positions. Uh, I just left it in the position that uh, it came out of uh, in the box and it does also have uh, an adjustable rear sight and a fiber optic front post. Both are serrated, which really helps with any type of glare coming from light. 
Now, one of the biggest uh, features on this gun is the uh, trigger mechanism. Now, it does have a very smooth and crisp uh, double action, single action. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So in double action, it's still fairly heavy, but pull in a very crisp, and then we'll show and single. There is some take up, and then you hit a wall and a very clean break. So I'll show you that again. So take up and break. They really improved the uh, trigger reset as well. You'll see um, upon reset, it doesn't travel very far and reset. There is still a little bit of travel, but again, you hit wall and break. So. So that was one of the uh, major improvements on the Shadow 2. And coming from someone who was shooting a totally stock SPO1, uh, it is a very huge difference. Now that's not to say that you cannot still upgrade this gun. Many people uh, send their Shadow 2s to um, CZ Custom or Cajun Gunworks. Both companies do a really great job and can enhance the trigger mechanism even more. Uh, which will aid in getting off those faster shots. Now, my initial impression of this gun has been very positive. Uh, when you pick up this gun, it just fits very well in your hand. Now, I have above average size hands, and it still fits very well in my hands. Now, uh, it's a very heavy gun. It feels like a very quality uh, piece by CZ. Uh, the undercut on the trigger guard and the beaver tail uh, allows you to get a very high firm purchase. The grips are textured very well. Uh, there's also checkering on the front and the back. It actually allows you to get a very good grip on the gun. Now the trigger is also just uh, very, very nice, especially compared to uh, many other firearms or striker fired um, firearms. Um, you know, like I said, it can still be upgraded, um, but for an out of the box uh, stock gun, I think this is one of the best guns you can get for production level uh, competition shooting. Uh, would I recommend it for everyone? Well, it just depends. If you are just getting into USPSA or IPSC or even 3-Gun, uh, I would definitely recommend it for you. It is a very well-priced uh, piece for the value that you get. Um, it's also a great gun for home defense. Uh, you know, I wouldn't really recommend it for uh, concealed carry as it's very heavy and um, very large. And there's definitely better options out there for that. But it does fit a niche where um, it is a great, great shooter for, uh, for, for competition. The quality and the reliability and functionality you get with CZ is really top notch. These are very reliable handguns. Uh, I could count on my hand how many uh, malfunctions I've had in the past year, shooting competitions every weekend. Uh, and it was most likely due to my own uh, hand loads uh, rather than uh, an issue with the gun. Now, all in all, uh, this is a, a great pistol. Uh, I think it's a great choice for anyone looking for an accurate, reliable, uh, good shooting gun. Um, and definitely for those who, 
who need a gun for competition or even just target shooting. Uh, it's, it's a great gun and I've been very happy with it so far. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, post them below uh, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.